Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Premier Gal here, and I hope you all enjoyed that Stomp template intro. If you're new here, on this channel, I make video editing and production tutorials, reviews, and templates just like this. This Stomp template is now for sale on my store and can be used in Premiere Pro CC October 2017 release, version 12. And just to be clear, the template can only be used with Premiere Pro that has the Essential Graphics panel, which came out in April 2017. All right, so how do you customize this template? So inside of Premiere Pro in the project panel, you will see that there are three folders, 01 edit, 02 import music, and 03 import graphics photo slash stock. Inside of 01 edit are sequences that you can open up and edit. The first one is text, so go ahead and double click to open up that sequence. So in the timeline, you will see a whole lot of clips, but actually those are just text clips that I created in the essential graphics panel, which you can customize and edit. Also, each text is perfectly aligned to the beat of the music. You will notice there's no music currently because the music is sold separately through Soundstripe. You can see the link to the music and my discount code below. If you want to edit the text, just select the text in the timeline. Make sure that your essential graphics panel is open. If it's not, you can go up to window and select essential graphics. Then select the type tool from the toolbar and click on the text in the program panel to update and type in new text. You can also change the font to a font that matches your brand. Right now I use Futura PT, which you can sync with Typekit. You can also update the size and color. Then you would just repeat this step on every text item. Now moving on, let's move on to number two in edit, which is adding and updating the background images or video like you saw in the intro. So there are 19 background layers to go with the beat of the music. So just open up the first background sequence and then go to folder three and import any photos or video you want to use in your project. Then drag and drop that photo or video into this background sequence. Then just repeat these steps until you get a final video full of all the background clips that you want. Now, if we open up the final sequence from the edit folder, you can see that the backgrounds are starting to fill up behind the text layer. If I double click on the all background layer sequence here inside of this sequence, you will see that this sequence consists of an adjustment layer where I've applied some creative film effects and a light effects layer. And then below that is a background layer, all 19, with a slide transition between each one to match the music. The ones that have stripes mean that they're empty. The stripe disappears when you add in a photo and video to each background layer sequence. Then the last step is just to import the music. Go to the 02 import music folder and double click to open up the place music here sequence. Go to the Soundstripe link I provided in the instructions or in the description box below to get that music track. And after you download it, import it into your project panel then drag and drop it into the place music here sequence. And that's how you customize this dynamic stomp intro template. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below and be sure to hit my profile photo on the left to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you wanna make a template request, just hit that button right below my profile photo. And if you want to learn something new about video editing, just click on a video thumbnail on the right. Thanks so much for watching. See you all soon. Bye.